What is going on boys? Super jealous of everyone out there riding sleds today. Got a good amount of new snow. Um, super wet and sticky from the looks of things, but super jealous of everyone out there riding. Got some pictures, got some videos from a few of you. Um, would like to start a new thing on, on the channel here. Would like to do like a little community, you know, montage of being able to get clips from you guys. Um, so submit some clips, you know, at this link here or at this email address. Um, I'll be making videos, you know, we'll see how, how many videos I get in. If we get a lot, then I'll, I'll be cranking these things out quite frequently, but just submit your, you know, your videos throughout the season. Uh, we'll be making some videos here of the community and the montage there. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, but today we are out here just changing a belt on a Skidoo 850. Uh, it's a 2022 uh, 850 turbo. So just going to be changing the belt. A lot of times we'll be changing these on the mountain. So just wanted to be able to make a quick tutorial for you guys on how to change the belt and how to get that done quickly. I'm just changing mine out of maintenance. I have about five, 600 miles on the sled at this point in time. Um, super wet and sticky snow out there right now. So just gonna get the belt changed really quick and go through that. All right, so the first step we're gonna have here is just removing the belt cover. Um, so we got a little bolt in the back here. Comes out super easy. Um, on these newer sleds, you've got your, your sensor as well. So you'll just disconnect your sensor here with the clips, top and bottom, and then get this belt cover removed. Once we get into the clutches here, we want to break into our tool bag. Um, Skidoo with their new sled sends it in a little little kit as such. Some of them are in the side of your, your belt canister, others are you know latched into the side panel as well. So what we're looking for is our clutch tool here. We're going to take the, the twisty end here and put it into our, our clutch. There's a little slot here that you're able to screw this into. It's almost going to be our screw. As we screw this in, we're going to watch this open up and we're going to watch our belt drop down into place or out of place I guess here and it's loosening everything up so then we have an easy ability to be able to pull this this belt out. So once we get now once we've screwed this in far enough it's going to open up our clutch good and proper the belt's going to drop down quite a ways and you're going to see how loose the belt is at this point in time. Um, super easy just to be able to take the belt and slide it off from this top clutch And then we're able to drop this down below our other clutch. And then you'll need to jimmy it around just a little bit here to be able to get it loose, get it off. And then we just pull it out of the side panel there. Pretty straightforward, but we've got our belt there. This is a good opportunity to clean your clutches if you haven't. Um, mine are fairly, you know, they can probably be cleaned, but I'll probably wait. Um, a few more, you know, 100 miles to be able to clean my clutches and get everything done around mid-season. So if you guys do want me to make a video of how to clean the clutches on these and how to do it easily, you know, with the clutches still attached, um, throw that down in the comments. Happy to, to make a video for that in the future. But now that we've got this belt off, we're going to take our new belt, probably going to be in our side panel, um, or maybe you just purchased the new belt on your side of things. We're going to grab our new belt and get this run through. Now an important step is we're putting the new belt on. On the belt, we're going to have rotation arrows. So we wanna make sure these are pointing forward as we're looking at it, so they're rotating the correct way. The way you thread this on is you're going to put the bottom portion of the belt in first. So we're gonna drop that back down in through the side panel here, and then we're going to run that, you know, jimmy it around a little bit, get that in place, and just drop it back on the way, same way we took the other off. Alrighty, now that we've got our new belt in place here, we're just gonna take our tool and twist this out. Now that we've got our, our clutch tool out, you see that we left the gap. The belt is still very loose, so we're gonna go ahead and start the sled. We just need to engage this very easy. You don't you know, jump right into the throttle after you get it replaced. You just need to ease into it, so then this will set into place and get it to where we want this. Alrighty, a little bit easier to get that uh, that clutch to set out in the snow, but easy enough in the garage. Got it done. Now we can see everything's back in place here. Our belt is seated where we want it to be. Now we're just going to take our clutch cover, throw that back on, hook back up our sensor, and then we're all good to go and get back out and ride. So hopefully that did help someone out there today. Um, if you guys do have any questions or I missed something in the video, be sure to drop that down in the comments. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to smash the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to, sub to subscribe for more. We'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll definitely be getting out riding this weekend. So have a good one, you guys.